I hope you are doing well. We have had a lot of debate and a lot of discussion regarding the Shabbat and what should be done with the Shabbat. Should we keep it? Should we not? What day is it? And here is why we should keep the Shabbat. Here is why it is on the seventh day. Because Yahusha, when he died, he did not abolish the Shabbat. And Yeshua is not the Shabbat. He died so that we can forgiveness of sins, so that our sins can be forgiven. So we do not have to do sacrifices. So, here in Acts 13, 27, we have the disciples explaining that Yahusha died to fulfill the Torah, not destroy it, but fulfill its prophecies. Do what is said in the prophecy of the Torah, saying salvation will come, that he will not want the sacrifices anymore. And that is what he says here in Acts 13, 27. I'm going to read it now. And it says, For they that dwell at Jerusalem and the rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Shabbat, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. So, they still kept Shabbat. It says it's read every Shabbat. It did not say which war, which was read every Shabbat. It says which are read every Shabbat. So, we have a thing here that says the Shabbat is still here. And that is proof that they still kept the Shabbat after Yahushua died. And we should to this day. It does not matter if they, did not, if they kept it 40 years after Yahushua and then somehow got changed. We should continue to keep it as the disciples did. If we are a disciple of Yahushua HaMashiach, and we will be keeping his Shabbat. Because he said, those who love me will keep my commands. And one of his most important commands, one of the most important things he told us was to rest on the seventh day. It is the cycles of seven. We talk about this a lot in the sermons we do. So I hope this uh, clears things up. If you guys, if anyone was wondering who kept the Shabbat, why we should keep the Shabbat is because Yahusha told us that we need to keep the Shabbat. He said he is Lord of the Shabbat. And Yahuwah says, keep my Shabbat. It is for all generations. It is good. And if it's something good, in your eyes, you're not going to destroy something that you see as good. He says the Shabbat was good. And that's what he did. He rests on the seventh day. And he does so he needed for the people. And if you are not resting on the Shabbat day, I highly recommend you do. Not only for the spiritual blessings, but for your physical restoration. Because you need that rest. You need rest on that seventh day. If you are working seven days a week, you are going to drain yourself. You are going to feel exhausted. But when you take that one day off, whether you sleep, whether you do nothing, whether you just read your Bible, whatever it is you do, you will feel a lot better the next day. You will feel recharged and renewed for the next day. So, shalom guys. Hope this uh, helps out a little bit if anybody was confused. And uh, have a good evening.